It's the moment none of us wants to face, the moment a person points a gun at you and demands your money. As you'll see in this News Channel 4 special report, there are strategies you can follow to make sure you walk away. Imagine having a gun pointed at your head, as in this recent terrifying robbery of a Long Island video store. The thieves stole $300 and pistol whipped the helpless clerk. Last fall, on the streets of his quiet Brooklyn neighborhood, college student Brian Hayes was robbed at gunpoint. He turned over all his money, five cents. I thought maybe they might get mad that I didn't have any money. I was really scared. When I saw the gun, I just froze. Brian's fear is easy to understand. The latest government statistics show more than half of all robberies are armed robberies. Ask yourself, if you were staring straight into the barrel of a gun, would you know what to do? Well, here at the Prepare Self-Defense School in Manhattan, they teach how to respond if you're confronted by an armed robber. Okay, I see you have a gun. I'm going to cooperate. I'm going to do whatever you want. Here's my pocketbook. Calm down. I'm cooperating. You don't need to use the weapon. If you're breathing and staying focused, and if you're talking and listening, you can have some control in what happens in the situation. But how is it possible to maintain your control during out-of-control robberies in stores and gas stations? Ban the Crim is an Australian-based company that specializes in programs for companies that have especially vulnerable employees, like convenience store chains. Trainer Paul Viola says something as simple as your posture could determine if you'll survive. You're sending a message of, I'm not in your personal space. I'm not squaring off with you. I turned away side on or sideways, and I put my hands like this. We ask NYPD crime prevention specialist, Detective Helen Shatinsky, to review the ban the crim and prepare defense techniques. While Shatinsky agreed that a calm, non-threatening attitude was vital, she said alertness before the attack could be the best strategy of all. Many criminals that we've interviewed have said, if I can just stand on that street corner long enough, my victim will walk by. And who's my victim? It's the person with their head down, they're not aware of their surroundings, their bag is dangling there, sometimes you see it's even open. Give me the money! Just two minutes it. Oh, you want all this stuff? But the experts agree on one thing. If you're the victim of an armed robbery, whether in a store or on the street, the key thing is not to panic and remember what's important. Luckily, they only got a nickel and my jacket. And I think I would, that's a good trade-off for my life. Jim Watkins, News Channel 4. It's actually worth repeating. Self-defense experts emphasize keeping your money is not the main objective. If, you, if the encounter ends with you unhurt and alive, it ended pretty well.